Welcome to the Cardinal Minute with your host and chair of the University of Louisville Department of Medicine, Dr. Kim Williams. Well, good morning and welcome to a Cardinal Minute. I'm here with Dr. Jerome Bax uh, from the Netherlands, who was wonderfully uh, uh, gifting us with uh, the Gross Lecture, our annual lecture here at the University of Louisville uh, for uh, Grand Rounds uh, in honor of Dr. Gross and all of his family. And Dr. Bax, you, know, you talked about uh, coronary artery disease and diagnostic techniques. Can you summarize this for us in one minute? With pleasure. Um, so we talked about non-invasive testing in patients with suspected or known coronary artery disease. And basically, we, um, we split the diagnostics into two. The ones where you don't know and which have a lower risk based on the clinical variables, these are the ones where we do CT scan with hope to exclude coronary artery disease. In the patient with higher risk, we start with a functional test and or a higher pretest likelihood if you like. We do a functional test, can be an exercise test, can be an imaging test. We prefer to have an imaging test. If you ask me what imaging test, I think equal. You could do a stress MRI, you could do a stress nuclear, you could do a stress echo. All of that is available, but um, an exercise test, that's the one thing you need to keep in mind, that purely an exercise test without imaging has a lower accuracy. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. But I think lower pretest likelihood CT scan includes not so often, more often exclude coronary artery disease. So the question for the lower likelihood is should I include, should I exclude? The CT scan excludes very well. If you're at the higher end, where your pretest likelihood based on your risk factors, your symptoms, etc., is it high? You do an ischemia test, and it may help you in your decision: should I revascularize or not? Thank you so much. Wonderful insights. Really appreciate uh, your coming over and uh, and sharing them all with us. Thank you so much. Thanks. That ends the Cardinal Minute.